This stuff is really good for your skin, but it smells so bad. It smells like feet. I am going on a walk today and I can't wait, but I need to go and pack a snack. So I'm gonna take some fruit, like a fruit salad. and top and I'm very ready to be in nature. I have this makeup bag and I think I'm just gonna use it to like store my camera in inside my other bag to keep it safe. Croatia video and I'm like, that one's gonna be sick. That <laughs> one's gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Is it Croatia? I want to hold it up. That's true. The little, I like the little furry guy. I was like, oh, I'll just leave it on because it doesn't make it worse. Good morning. It's actually 10 a.m. but I was in bed the whole time trying to make a thumbnail for the video I just uploaded and the thumbnail is like, it's not good. I don't, I'm just not good at making them and I think it's because I never try and take a thumbnail photo while I'm making the video. I always just leave it till after and I have to kind of take screenshots and it just never works so. I had the idea of if I mix my wet ingredients for my oats first, nothing will stick. Another book has arrived. The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. One of you recommended this to me and I bought it blindly with trust. So I'm going to make my matcha and eat my oats and try and change my thumbnail. I 
Are you scared? Don't be scared. Hey, it's just a camera. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm dog sitting, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to move my desk to my corner. I don't know, I feel like it would be more cozy there. whiteboard that goes here but not like a plastic one I want a magnetic glass one to put so I can write all over plus I think this is such a nice angle to sit and talk at and I can't wait to decorate the walls a bit I want this over there but I can't move it yet it looks really goofy here on its own <laughs> I'm much happier with my desk here evening I suppose it is um, <laughs> I'm filming in my room and I hope there isn't too much of an echo going on because it's quite an empty space and <laughs> I'm well aware of that <laughs> in the last few months my health has become a big focus for me because I was diagnosed with something and it's really not that serious like it's nothing to worry about and <laughs> I'm not gonna die or anything <laughs> but I think when you spend your whole life seeing yourself one way and then it suddenly changes it can be quite traumatic <laughs> to be honest I kind of felt like my body had betrayed me in a way and I had a lot of feelings of almost resentment 
but only towards myself, not towards anyone or anything other than me, even though <laughs> that makes zero sense because I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just unlucky and I think that whole experience made me feel a bit isolated because I kind of felt that none of my friends or family could quite understand the way I felt because I feel like young people aren't often chronically ill but maybe I just don't know anyone that is <laughs> because I have to wait quite a long time to see a specialist I have been feeling a bit as if I'm in limbo and almost paralysed as if I don't want to do the wrong things so instead I do nothing and I think again that all just plays into me isolating myself out of fear and I feel like no matter what hardship I face that is always something I fall into but I recognise that now and I'm trying to not do that. I didn't mention it because I think at first I was kind of processing it and then afterwards I kind of felt like it's so unserious and not really like a big deal that I kind of thought people would think I was just being dramatic. It's had more of an effect on my emotional health than my actual physical health so it was for me just kind of accepting that this is the way I am and this is how I'll be for the rest of my life but I've actually always been this way I just didn't know until now so I'm the same person I've always been really even though I feel so different apart from that whole ordeal though I think I have just been letting too many negative thoughts into my head and almost feeling as if I need to rant to someone and I think that maybe not having my therapist anymore has almost made me feel like I need to talk to people to get over things but I can just journal things and it always goes better. I feel that journaling is always very efficient, way more efficient than I give it credit for even though I do give it a lot of credit. I did some writing today about life. All the ways that I feel inadequate, I don't deserve to label myself as not blank enough, not smart enough, not pretty enough, not productive enough, not hardworking enough. Like I don't deserve to label myself that way because I am just trying my best. <laughs> After writing for a while, I ended with I'm talented, caring, creative, thoughtful, always learning new things and always trying my best. I deserve to be happy and achieve my dreams, but I have to put in the work too. Great things don't just happen, you have to work towards them every day and hope that your hard work pays off. I don't know why I became like a motivational speaker in my journal, but she kind of has a point. <laughs> it's just been a tough few months even though I've been also blessed with so many amazing things and have finally gotten time to do all these creative endeavours that I've been dreaming of throughout my three years of biological sciences. <laughs> Which by the way I don't know why I did that. Why did I study cancer biology? What version of me wanted that, I don't know, but I have a degree. <laughs> Does that mean anything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm insanely hot and sweaty, but I feel safe in a blanket. Do you ever get that? I don't actually need the warmth, I just want to feel smothered. I think I need to buy one of those weighted anxiety blankets or something. Right now, I'm just feeling more motivated than ever to care for myself physically but also mentally and really invest in myself. I think this has been a recurring theme, like I bought my camera, 
I bought some new clothes, I bought those second-hand books, like, I've not been spending money irresponsibly or anything, but it's more so that I'm honouring myself. I've been avoiding treating myself for a really long time under the disguise of saving money when I think it was actually my brain telling me I don't deserve it. That sneaky brain always going behind my back, doing me dirty. <laughs> I just want to highlight that if you ever feel like you are alone or not good enough or people don't understand what you're going through, there's always someone and I'm sure a lot of people relate to me right now and I see you. <laughs> we can do it, you know? We are in this together. Keep trying your best and it will all be okay. I promise. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm gonna journal some more. Concluding remarks. I don't know much, clearly, but it will be fine. I believe it, so it will be true. Okay, good night. Let's talk about stuff that you're scared to talk about together.